Good morning, photography friends, and welcome to another episode of Frozen Boogers on My Nose in 4K. Today we're at Ryan Park, a little park near my house. There is a winter storm coming, but I am out and about making content because that's what I do. There seemed to be a flurry of bird activity in my backyard today, so that's why I decided to come out and hopefully see some interesting things over here. But if not, we're just gonna take a walk and enjoy nature. Now, usually when I come over here, the water behind me is not frozen. Um, but today it is, because uh, occasionally we'll see some blue heron on the lake, or some swans, some ducks. Um, unfortunately, I don't think that's probably going to happen today, because um, I left my flamethrower at home, so maybe next time. had some people ask if they're ever going to learn anything on this photography channel. Simple answer, no. So you get nothing. You lose. Good day, sir. You're an inhuman monster. I said good day. Even if we do find any birds today, unfortunately, because the snowstorm is coming tomorrow, the light is actually not very great. And uh, my lens that I have only goes to an F8, so we're gonna have to really bump the ISO. That's photography talk. See, you learned something, huh? If you're thinking that this looks incredibly sketchy, well, it's been worse. The bridge to Terabithia. I'm just kidding, it just continues on the trail. hear a few things behind me but I'm not seeing a whole lot today. All I've seen so far is that robin uh, that I posted earlier. But we still have a only about a little over a quarter way over the trail so maybe we'll see some other stuff. All right let's keep walking. What is that? I have no clue what that is. All right, keep walking, I guess. Hopefully it's nothing too scary. The thing I do really love about this trail is it looks like a serial killer could jump out just about any moment. Adds a little bit of thrill to the walk. I don't ever post camera settings of the photos when I post them because um, all camera settings are different. Oh boy. 
Yikes, this doesn't look good. Sorry. Just, I'll show you what I came across here. Okay. I don't know if I'm going to be able to cross this actually. I'm gonna put all my camera stuff away in my bag, and then I'm going to attempt to cross it. It's probably a bad idea, but I'll let you know. A few moments later. We crossed it. It's because I have the reflexes and balance of a cat. Don't mess with me. Back to what I was saying before about camera settings, um, I just don't post uh, camera settings after I post the photos because, um, I mean really, you're not going to learn your camera unless you actually get out there and take photographs because every situation and every setting is different. So I mean, I could post settings, um, but it's probably not going to help you in the long run until you actually know how to use your camera. Also, I'm just lazy and I really just don't want to post the settings, so. Walking through the woods, walking through the woods, walking through the woods is better than walking in the hood. He's out of line, but he's right. Seems like whenever we do a uh, wildlife video, we don't see any wildlife. Our street photography video that we did last week was a great success. I'm actually still going back and forth with the Louvre about them buying my photo of the Amazon package in the barber's chair. Baby Louvy lovey. How are we looking on that photograph of the Amazon package in the barber's chair? What are you talking about? Do you know how many museums would kill to have a photograph of an Amazon package in a barber's chair? All of them. I don't care if you have to move the Mona Lisa herself. Get it done. Oh, I think I just broke my phone. Yep. I definitely broke my phone. Nothing's come of it yet, but I'm sure we'll come to a deal shortly. Oh, I forgot to tell you guys. I know I only have five subscribers, but I don't know how it happened, but somehow Zack Snyder the director of Rebel Moon uh, saw one of my vlogs and he actually offered to direct the next one. So that's very exciting. Um, I'm going to show you guys a clip of it. I think you're really going to like it. That vlogging you've been doing, boy, it's brought the attention of some bad people. You know I have to vlog, old man. Well, it's fixing to get this whole village killed. Vlogging is in my blood. Well, that blood is going to be spilled on the battlefield. So be it. There's too many stinking rebel photographers on this rebel photography moon.
If you guys are about to complain that you didn't learn anything about photography today, please don't. I warned you at the very beginning, I said, you're probably not going to learn about anything about photography, yet you're still here. And if you're here for my charming personality and rugged good looks, well, for that I can't blame you. been out here walking for quite a while we haven't seen much wildlife but that's okay because it's 2024 start of a new year things are looking good and if you're not on a list with Stephen Hawking you're doing okay I'm just gonna walk and backtrack the way I came and maybe we'll see something on the way back through our journey. This might turn into a long video actually, but we haven't really taken photos of anything, so. Why is the exposure so bad on this camera sometimes? It does not do backlighting well at all. All right, we're gonna keep walking. Ideally, you're not going to want to shoot straight up at birds in bird photography like I did just there. Um, but sometimes when you're on a trail or a walk like this, you just don't have any other choice. Um, but ideally, you want to shoot everything at eye level uh, with the birds. See? I taught you something. You're doing it. Be the lucky dominant sheep. I decided not to walk the entire length of the trail again because I remembered exactly how long it was and I realized I didn't want to do it. And I'm a fully grown adult and I can make my own decisions. So I choose not to do it and to be lazy. Got the classic bird on a stick shot. Probably wasn't completely sharp because didn't have my shutter speed high enough, but we'll see. I'm not gonna like hang it on my fridge or anything, but I might post it to social media, so it should be fine. I guess that just about ends our photography journey for today. Um, my battery's about to die on my vlogging camera, so... And I'm getting cold. I've been walking around here for a while. But hey, thanks for uh, joining me on this photography journey. Please like and subscribe if you like this type of content. And uh, hey, next video should be uh, Zack Snyder's vlog, so looking forward to that. Might run a little longer than most of my other vlogs, given Zack's propensity to use slow motion but uh, it should be phenomenal uh, I'm looking forward to it very very excited that I got to work with such a uh, <coughs> talented director all right until next time uh, keep taking pictures take care I know you're also asking Isaiah don't you own any other outfits you wear pretty much the same exact thing in every video I just like to keep things consistent, okay? Does Superman wear different outfits? Does Spider-Man wear different outfits? No. So why should I have to wear a different outfit? I just, I want to be like Spider-Man and Superman, okay? Is that so wrong?